Hey friends, I'm so glad you're here for another 15 minute workout. This one's a unique one. I really, really love it. So let's get to it. I'll show you the exercises and then we'll start. First exercise is a kneeling dumbbell swing with a double shoulder press. The double shoulder press can get a little challenging, so don't choose too heavy of a weight. Exercise two, you're in the bear position and you are pulling your dumbbell through. This one's a little more difficult, so you may want to start with a lighter weight. This third exercise is an alternating crossbody row. You can go for a heavier weight here if you want. Exercise four is a hip hinge to alternating thoracic twist. Your goal here is more mobility related, so I want you to choose a lighter weight. Exercise five is pretty simple. It is a squat to alternating crossbody crunch. Choose a heavier weight here to burn out your legs. Our last exercise will be a marching bridge with overhead dumbbell pull. Choose whatever weight is comfortable for you in this. All right, now that you know all of the exercises, let's get ready to start with the kneeling dumbbell swing. So we're starting here by contracting our glutes to swing the weights up. We step one foot forward, open up our hips and get a really good stretch as we raise our dumbbells twice. As much as I want you to build your strength, I also want you to work on your flexibility and that's what we're doing here in this move. Really focus on pressing your hips forward as you are pushing up the weight in that shoulder press. All right, you'll just drop one of those weights, get into your bear position for the bear with dumbbell pull through. This can be a more advanced move, so take your time, reduce the weight if you need to, and if you also need to, you can come out of that bear position and put your knees on the ground. Our focus here is building a strong core. I wanna make sure that you aren't shifting your hips back and forth. You want to have a contracted core and keep your body as straight as possible. You're almost there, 15 seconds left. All right, grab two heavier weights and get ready for the cross body row. Keep your core engaged here and breathing consistent. As you pull that weight up, I want you to focus on pulling your elbow to the back of the room. Nice work, you have 20 seconds left. Okay, grab your light weights here and get ready for your hip hinge to thoracic rotation. All right, this workout is one for all of you who wanna pick up your grandkids, swing them around, or grab groceries out of your trunk without injuring yourself. Our focus here is strengthening that rotational movement. I want you to take your time and breathe throughout this exercise. If you don't have a two or five pound weight at home to do this exercise, you can also do it without a weight. As you stand back up from that hip hinge, I want you to make sure you are squeezing your glutes, contracting your glutes to pull you up instead of using your low back to pull you up. All right, grab your heavier weights for the squat to cross body crunch. Here I want you to focus on trying to get your knee to your elbow. If you can't get there fully, do the best that you can. If you wanna make this harder on your legs, you can add a squat pulse once you go down for that squat. Great job, you have 15 seconds left. Beep. 
All right, grab one weight, get down onto the floor, and get ready for the marching bridge with dumbbell pull. Your glutes and core are working hard here to stabilize your body. Make sure you're breathing throughout this exercise. I would exhale as I lift the weight and then inhale as I lower it down. Nice work, 15 seconds left. Nice job, round one is complete. You have two more to go. Get ready for the kneeling dumbbell swing with shoulder press. All right, friends, I'm so glad you stuck around for round two. This is one of my favorite exercises, just to make sure that when you're doing the shoulder press, you are not arching your back. This exercise is also a reason why my workouts are only 15 minutes. You are working your core, your glutes, your shoulders, and your triceps with this one movement. All right, grab one weight and then get down into the bear position for the bear pull through. Keep those hips stabilized. I want you to try and imagine you are putting a plate on your back and you are making sure it's not gonna fall off. You have 20 seconds left, work hard. All right, y'all, Emmy is telling you to work hard. You better double up on your effort. Get ready to grab your heavier weights for the cross body row. With this exercise, we're working our core, upper back, and rear delt. We also added in that half side lunge to work on our glute medius and our quads. Continue breathing throughout this. You have 20 seconds left. All right, grab your light weights for your hip hinge to thoracic rotation. All right, grab a heavier weight for your squat to crossbody crunch. Focus on your core stabilization as you come up onto one leg here. Stay controlled throughout this movement. Nice work, you have 10 seconds left.
All right, get down onto the floor with one dumbbell for your marching bridge. Nice work here, friends. You are doing a great job. Keep breathing throughout this movement. Try to make sure your ribs are not flaring here. You want a straight line from your shoulders to your knees. And also make sure your glutes are contracted to make sure you're not sinking in this bridge position. You have finished round two, great job. Get ready for your kneeling dumbbell swing to shoulder press. Try not to rush throughout this movement. Take your time and work on getting a really good stretch. Fifteen seconds left, you got this. Grab one dumbbell and get down into the bear position for your bear with dumbbell pull through. Continue breathing throughout this exercise. Do not hold your breath here. Focus on keeping your hips flat and not shifting. Ten seconds left. All right, grab your heavier weight for the cross body row. You are halfway there, keep going. Grab your lighter weights here for my favorite exercise, the hip hinge to thoracic rotation. Keep this movement slow and controlled. Grab your heavier weight for the squat to cross body crunch.
Get down onto your back for the marching bridge with dumbbell pull. Your 15 minute workout is complete. Great job. Thanks for being here with us. I hope you have a great day.